All right. And we're recording. Cool. All right. So uh, this is the second part of the pen tool uh, flower where we're making the vase and all that stuff. So if you haven't watched the first part, um, you, you might be a little lost. So go, go watch that to see how to make this flower from that drawing. And then now we're kind of adding to it a little bit. Okay. Uh, like I said in the last video, I got the original image and the, some of the instructions for this off of another YouTube video, but that was eight years ago and I couldn't find it again to be able to link to them. So sorry if I'm stealing your stuff. I'm really just using that picture, but also send me an email and I can say thank you for giving me a lesson that I used from eight years ago. All right. So uh, this is the design that we just made. Okay. So we, we finished this up in the last one. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to group this object and here's why. All of these, we used the Shape Builder tool and that was fun. Remember that back in the day? But now these are all still in pieces, okay? We made shapes, but this is what an object looks like in Illustrator. It's all just made out of these individual pieces. Control Z to go back, all right? So if I start making a copy, I'm gonna hide my artboard. If I start making a copy of this, and a copy of this, and a copy of this, and then I go, oh, hey, I like that, that's good, but you know what, I wanna change this one. Let me click on this one. Oh no, I clicked on that one and I can't get to that. Maybe I could shift to add to my selection, but then, oh, I didn't get all the pieces. Urgh, it's frustrating. Okay, I'll just click and drag to select it. Oh no, I got stuff that I didn't want, okay? You got Reese's and my peanut butter and, and whatever, okay? So all of these pieces are together and we got to be able to, to just click on that one flower, move that one flower, that's all we wanna do, okay? So Control Z, Control Z, before we do anything, select all the pieces of your object. Okay, select it all like that, and then go up to Object, and then Group, or Control G. Okay, you can also get there by going right click. Um, I can't, can you do it that way? Yeah, I can't do it now because it says Ungroup because it is already grouped. Okay, so you can either right click Group, or you can go to Object Group, or do Control G. Now, when I click on it, all of it stays together. Oh my gosh, this makes it so much easier. Hooray, and I make a bunch of copies of it. And when I go back, I can pick just that one flower, okay? That's what I want to do, okay? If you're not familiar with how I'm doing this, Control-Z to go backwards. The way I am making a copy of this is by holding down Alt. And you see how the, the, the mouse changes there. And as I drag, don't let go of Alt, but when I let go of the mouse, it makes a copy as I go, okay? So that is how to make a copy of things. You can also do Control-C, Control-V. You can also do Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste, okay? All of those things. So now I want to, that's great, but very seldomly in, a, in, a, in a, a flower arrangement would I have them all going the exact same direction, all standing just like that in a row, okay? So I want to rotate this, and I want to reflect at least one of them, okay? So to reflect something, I select the object, and I can do right-click, transform, reflect, and I'm going to reflect it, make sure it's set to vertical, and hit OK. Hooray. Now I have another one of these, okay? Um, you also could do, there are, there's a tool over here, there's a reflection tool over here. You can also go to object to get to transform and reflect. Just another way that you can do it. Exact same result, exact same dialogue pops up. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, um, so now I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Let's make another copy of that one, another copy of that one. It's so pretty. Okay, so look, we're going to put one here and then maybe have it like this and I'm going to rotate. Okay, so if I select my object, and go out here, you see how my, my cursor, it goes to that where it's like kind of curved like this. So when you go out, you have it where it's diagonal, you go a little bit further and it's like curved. That's how you make it where it rotates. So here's my object. That would change the size of it. That makes it where I can rotate, okay? And I can rotate like that. There is also a rotate tool. If I select this and go over my rotate tool, I can rotate it, all right? All right, cool. So I've got several different things going in several different directions. I'm kind of making all of my flowers kind of go to the same spot. You can also arrange your objects. If you did right click, arrange, bring to front. All right, something like that, okay? So that's great and everything. And I can change the color of these things if I wanted to, I could change the color. Sorry, hang on a second. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back, guys. Um, so I made my flower. I rotated things around. 
All of that is good, and now I need to make my vase. So here's how you make the vase. Um, I'm going to take my pen tool, and without having anything to trace from, I'm just going to click. First click is just click and let go. And then I'm going to click and drag out, okay? And let's make that where it doesn't have any color on the inside, all right? And so now that's a beautiful little design there. I want the exact same thing on the other side. So I can Alt-Drag to make a copy of it, and then right-click, Transform, Reflect. So now I have the exact same curve on the other side, okay? And I was holding down Shift to keep that in place also. All right, and then from my bottom, I just need to do, and I'm doing it kind of exaggerated here, where I go well over the lines, okay? So I drew out one line, copy and pasted it, and reflected it, and I also drew one on the bottom here, and then for the top piece, this is just a solid circle. Something like that. Circle, this is actually an ellipse, all right? So now, and with all of my lines crossing like that, let's bring that up just a little bit, bring that in just a little bit, okay? And all my lines are crossing. Mm, it's a little off, but that's okay. All right, the technique is still strong. So select these things. I can either click and drag to select, or like I said earlier, I can hold down Shift to select things. And now I have all four of those objects selected. Shape Builder tool, and I can make this, let's change the color to maybe a red. All right, a red here. That makes that shape. And then my object up here, this is just a solid circle. It always was. And so I can also just click on that and just change it to red. And I like to make this one just a little bit darker. So I double click on the color swatch, make it a little bit darker. Mm, let's go a little bit darker. It may look better on your screen, but on mine it wasn't dark enough. There we go. Okay, so all of that is good. We have grouped things, we have reflected things, we have made new shapes, we've made things from drawing things and all of that stuff. That's great, so let's see how we can make these things interact. So if I click this and bring it down right here, okay? Well, that doesn't look right, okay? What I wanna do is, this is an object and this is an object. I want this object to be in the back, all right? So right click, so I have it selected. Right click, arrange, send to back or control shift bracket. Okay, and now I have so pretty, right? Okay, and you could do, you know, I could still change the size of this if I wanted to. I could have where some of these other ones have a different color, so it's not just that one piece. You know, the sample that I showed, this person, the student that made this work, um, they had a, a variety, they had two different colors, so the red and the, and the gray. And then, you know, just make one, don't make it every single one of them different, right? But you just make one different and then you copy and paste it, okay? So, I mean, you could have every flower be a different color if you wanted to. But what I'm saying is don't go, okay, I've made 20 of these and I got to make 10 of them be gray. So let me go back to every single one of them. Think about making the change first before you make the copy. So before you copy it, you want to group it. Before you copy it, you want to make the change the color of it. Okay, so that way every duplicate after that is the color that you want it to be, okay? And that is uh, how you do the flower pen tool assignment. So um, I forgot to mention that we are also going to throw in how to arrange objects. So by this one simple little assignment, three flowers in a vase, um, you can see that you, when you do this assignment, you can show me you understand how to use the pen tool, how to group things, possibly how to modify with the white, with the direct select tool, how to... Uh, change the color, how to change it to just a slightly darker shade, how to um, draw shapes, how to create something using the pen tool without tracing something, um, how to arrange objects to make them work, how do they interact with each other when you do that, okay? So all of those things, you've just got a simple little vase here, but all of those things are kind of covered in this one assignment, okay? So um, anyway, hope that, hope that helps. Hope breaking it up into two parts here kind of helped make a little more sense too.